Okay, so I'm going to be telling you how to create this effect in Photoshop via bitmap effect. So file, new, choose any canvas you like, create, uh, unlock the layer. And I'm going to click this button here, uh, choose a solid color. Uh, I'm going to go for black and then delete the lower layer because we just don't need it. So then um, from your desktop or wherever, you're going to put the, uh, the image you've chosen into your scene now. Okay, so I've just dragged the image in, uh, let's just line it up there, and then tick that. Okay, so if you've got an image with a background, you might want to uh, cut out the background. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, follow a tutorial, but it's uh, fairly easy. So once you've done that, we're going to go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. Uh, I'm going to click Don't Merge, Rasterize, and then Discard. So your image should now look like this. Then you're going to go to image, mode, bitmap, and then click OK. Now, this is the important part. So you're going to probably repeat this step a couple times, Control Z, and then come back to make sure that this number here is correct. It's going to be different for everyone. And uh, so this is like how much of the effect you want. So I'm going to click 100, and then there you go. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to stick with this. Um, so as you can see the layer is locked, you can't unlock it. So what you're going to want to do is image, mode, click grayscale, and then click OK to this. Now you can unlock it, but uh, there's still some issues because you now want to apply color to it maybe. Or you want the option to do that anyway. So what you're going to want to do is go back to image, mode, and then here's all your color modes. I'm going to go to RGB. There you go. And now if I want to apply color over it, right click the layer, blending options. And then we're going to go to color overlay and pick a color and there you go make sure this is on multiply otherwise it won't work normally so you're going to want to put it on multiply that's how you do it um so yeah obviously you can do this with multiple objects create a nice poster design and that's how you do it guys